Miss Gina and Rurik here. We wanted to read you a story. This story is about a what if monster. This what if monster, he worries all the time. And he tells his worries to his friend Jonathan James. What do you think Jonathan does with all those worries in his head? Let's find out. Jonathan James and the What If Monster by Michelle Nelson Schmidt. Some what if monsters like to hang out and fill up our heads with worry and with doubt. They are sneaky and quiet and quick as a blink. The words that they whisper can change how we think. Jonathan James heard those words full of dread, and all those what ifs got stuck in his head. You want to come sit by me? He's my helper. What if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and your knee gets all skinned? He's making Jonathan James worry about falling. What if they giggle? What if it's chilly? What if you jump and look really silly? Ah! What if monster? Like, what if you look silly? Yeah, what if? What if? Thank you. What if it's hard? What if you're bad? What if they laugh and make you feel sad? Ah! He's worried about not doing good at base. That what if monster Yeah. What if it's ugly? What if it's neat? What if that's what everyone thinks? But he's trying to make art. And there's that what if monster. What if nobody likes it? What if it's yucky? What if it's icky? What if mom yells because you're being too picky? Uh oh. Are you ever picky when mom makes dinner? Or dad or nana or papa? Uh oh. It's okay. I think we all get picky sometimes. What if it's dark? What if it's scary? What if there's something giant and hairy? <laughs> He's got no what if worries. <laughs> Look, he's scared at bedtime. See? Yeah, he's scared. He's scared of what's in that closet. Let's find out what happens. What if you lose? What if you're last? What if you're slow and you never get fast? Look, he's in a race and there's that what if monster. Kind of worrying about all those what ifs. Oh, are you going to play with him? Mommy. What if she laughs? What if she runs? What if she thinks you're not any fun? Look, he wants to ask her to play. But that what if monster's making him worry? What if? Now, wait just a minute, says Jonathan James. I have something to say. After hearing what ifs all throughout the day, I hear all your worries. I hear all your claims. But what if you're wrong? Asks Jonathan James. Ooh, what if that what if monster is wrong? What if I climb to the top of that tree and I never even slip or skin up a knee? And what if I jump right into that pool and everyone thinks that I'm really cool? And what if baseball is nothing but fun and I end up hitting a triple home run? And what if my drawing goes up on the wall and everyone thinks it's the best one of all? Ooh, those are some good what ifs. And what if I taste some of that food and it puts my mouth in a really good mood? And what if I run in a really big race and have a great time, no matter what place? It's not always about winning. And what if I sleep and I have the best dream that monsters are sweeter than they may seem? Mama. Aww. That's sweet. And what if the chance I take in the end is just how I find my very best friend? Oh, yeah. You just gotta take a 
a chance sometimes, huh? And just ask. Oh, thank you. And look at that happy what if monster. The end. Thanks for reading with me, friends. I hope that you guys think of the good what ifs and you don't do all that worrying and you take a chance and you have fun. I wish you well.